We finally did it. We finally pulled it off. A trade for Donovan Mitchell. And we traded away Julius Randle. I cannot wait to get into this episode. We are going to officially start the era of RJ Barrett and Donovan Mitchell. And in my opinion, they are about to be the best duo in the NBA, bro. Probably not the first few games because... We did make a lot of roster moves, so our team chemistry obviously is going to go down. It's going to take the team a while to gel, but once we do, I feel like we're going to be good. We're definitely going to be good, but before we start this episode, before we start this new era, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, because y'all always do me dirty on the comments. I love interacting with you guys. Come on. Creator to fan interaction. Like, let's get it. Or creator to family interaction. Interact with me, bro. It's that simple. Also... What's very simple is subscribing to the channel. I'll give you guys that second right now. There you go. Super easy, bro. Super easy. So this is the roster. As I look to end this offseason, Donovan Mitchell, RJ, Mitchell Robinson, Quickly, Quentin Grimes, OB Toppin, Thibel. The jury's still out on Thibel because somebody said it's kind of unrealistic to get him. But at the same time, the Sixers didn't offer him anything, so why not snag him up? We got Williams, Holiday, McBride, Daniel Arturo, Abaji, who has that weird season and an injury, although I don't think that's the case. Neil Aquina, Sims, and Woodard, who has that weird season ending injury. So both of those guys got those injuries during the summer league. And I don't think I don't think they're really gonna be gone for that long, in my opinion. So let's continue the offseason. Let's finally end it. But before I do, I actually wanna sh I actually forgot in the last episode. To show you guys what happened during free agency. So, now's my chance. I'm going to go team by team. See if I see anybody big. The Philadelphia 76ers. They got Kemba Walker and Jordan Poole on their team. Also, Cam Johnson. On a one-year, $5 million. That's a good deal for Cam Johnson. I didn't expect him to accept a deal like that. But the Sixers are looking pretty good. Look at this. Cam Johnson, Jordan Poole. Left Golden State. My son Kemba Walker joined them, backup point guard. He's a 71 overall now. Sheesh. That's, that's sad. So let's move on to the Cavs. Nobody for those other two teams. Nobody for, for Cleveland as well. So the Celtics got John Wall. That's actually pretty interesting. I don't know how things are going to go with John Wall. And Celtics fan just texted me. So this Celtics team don't look too bad. Add in John Wall. Let's see how he contributes to... Boston, let's see, three years. That deal actually isn't too bad. Now that I look at it, three years, 22 mil for John Wall. I don't think that's too bad. I probably would have gave him three years, like 15 mil, but that's actually a pretty good pickup for the Seas. Clippers didn't sign anyone interesting at all. Let's see, Memphis re-signed Dylan Brooks, and they also got back John Morant, so that's pretty good as well. Let's see, Atlanta Hawks, no, Miami Heat, they got Tyler Hero back. That's the only notable free agents for them. Nothing big for the Charlotte Hornets, nothing big for the Utah Jazz, except for the trade. Sacramento Kings, nothing. Then, then you got us. We made some very big moves during free agency, and I like everyone that we got, bro. I really like everyone that we got on the team. I feel like it's pretty realistic. Like I said about Thibault, the Sixers didn't offer him anything, so why would I not snag him up? Like, literally, the Sixers did not offer him anything, and he was sitting there in free agency, so I just got him, bro. It's not, it's, I don't feel, I don't feel like it's that big of a deal. But anyways, the roster for us, impeccable. Donovan Mitchell, quickly, Barrett, we gonna be good next season. Let's move on to the Lakers, though. They got D'Angelo Russell, Gary Trent Jr., okay, Gary Payton, the Lakers actually look pretty decent. Last season, they were one of the worst teams in the NBA. They got back D'Lo. They got Anthony Davis, Gary Trent. They got shooters. Let's go. Where's LeBron, though? So, I didn't see LeBron on the Lakers. That means he left. Let's keep going until we see LeBron signing with one of these teams. He had to sign with one of these teams. Wait. Uh, Zion re-signed with the Pels. I mean, I feel like he's going to do that in real life, too. I think he did say that he, he just wants to um, hurry up and resign with them. He's trying to get the bag. Don't blame him. So, Houston Rockets got Westbrook. That's not good. Let's see. Okay, see. What, what team did LeBron sign with? Did I miss him? Golden State? No. Wizards? No. Where did he? Oh, wait. 
There he is. He signed with the Washington Wizards. That that's unrealistic as it gets, bro. If I could get Thibel on my team. Wait, no, 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 wait. Let me rephrase that. If the Wizards could sign LeBron James with this garbage team that they have, we could sign Thibel. Yeah, I'm leaving it at that. I don't hear nothing about that being unrealistic because the Wizards just signed LeBron with Clint Capella and Kuzma. Let me skip past the All-Star City selection, Washington, D.C., of course, because they just... I was going to say drafted. They just signed LeBron, so of course they're going to have it in D.C. How typical. Anyways, in terms of the draft class, I always go with official DET. I always go with his draft class, so 2024. And I don't know anything about this draft class either. Let's see. Tyrese Proctor, never heard of him. Uh, never heard of those guys. So let me know in the comment section below if you ever heard of any of these guys. I sure didn't. Time to advance to the next season, and here we are. First game is going to be against the Detroit Pistons for the new NBA season. And... This new NBA season is going to be lit. Definitely got to change up the scoring options. Donovan Mitchell can't have him number one. We're still going with RJ. RJ is still our guy. So RJ is the first scoring option. Second, I got to make it Donovan Mitchell. That duo is going to be good. Third scoring option, I have to make it Mitchell Robinson primarily because we signed him to a huge deal. And you're going to have to contribute, bro. You're going to have to contribute to the offensive end if you're making the amount of money that you're making being on our team. So our starting five is looking good. Second unit, coming. all the players that we have coming off the bench, pretty good as well. This is what I... This is what I envisioned when we traded for Donovan Mitchell. I really like the makeup of this team. Like, I really like the makeup of the team. Coming off the bench, Grimes and Thibel. That's that's very good right there. So, starting lineup quickly, Donovan Mitchell, RJ, OB, and Mitch. It's only right that I sim up to this game against the Miami Heat. Why? Because they eliminated us from the Eastern Conference Finals. And they got Pat Bev on their team now. And they also got back Jimmy Butler, who fully healed from his injury. They beat us without Jimmy Butler in the postseason. So hopefully we, we're going to be able to beat them this time around with Jimmy Butler on this squad. So we're going to sim up to that game. Nationally televised game at that. First four games for us didn't really go as planned. We're one and three for the NBA season so far. RJ Barrett in the first game, 27 points. That's what I want to see. Oh, man, that's crazy. I told you guys, when it comes to team chemistry, it's going to take a while to build that up, obviously. So the first half of the season, we might not be playing our best. But let's look at how our players are playing after those first four games. Mitchell Robinson averaging 19 points and 11 boards. This is what I want to see. Mitchell Robinson has to contribute on the offensive end. He has to take that next step. So RJ Barrett averaging 20. Mitchell Robinson averaging 19 as of right now. Quickly with 15. Donovan Mitchell with 13. How many assists he got? five assists not too bad we have a lot of scoring options we have a lot of scoring options so let's see let, let's see how this next game goes against the miami heat nationally televised game i'm gonna sit down and i'm gonna watch this whole game chop up the highlights for y'all so i chopped up the highlights as usual i'm not playing no games as yet for this season nationally televised game against the miami heat lowry bev Pat Bev, Jimmy Butler, Michael Foster, who's an auto-generated player, and Bam Adebayo against our squad. So to start this game, it was actually a very good back-and-forth game to start. Nice pass inside by Donovan Mitchell, getting it to quickly. And now we have a lot of ball handlers on this team. RJ Barrett could do, you know, playmate, I should say. Not really ball. Well, ball handlers slash playmakers. RJ Barrett could make plays same thing for donovan mitchell as he got all the way to the basket in that beautiful jam quickly can make plays as well we have a lot of good playmakers on our squad and it's gonna take some time but look at that nice find inside to ob topping a lot of our playmakers are gonna be able to find ob topping for easy jams mitchell robinson for easy put back dunks alley oops all that good stuff and look at that block on donovan mitchell but he did not give up step your game up homie let's go Getting the ball back, getting that beautiful two points, that beautiful layup to go. And then coming off the bench, Thibel for three. And he wasn't the only one getting into the action. Off the bench, Quentin Grimes was really balling out. Look at this. He's wide open. Grimes, bang. It's easy. It's money for him. But then, like I said, first half, 
Game went back and forth, back and forth, and then here we come to the pivotal second half, where normally in real life, the New York Knicks always squander leads. Not in this game, though. Check this out. Getting the ball to a wide open quickly. If he's open, he's not going to miss. Same thing for Donovan Mitchell. Same thing for my son, Quentin Grimes. Look at him. Putting the moves on the defender, getting all the way to the basket is too easy for him. And now we're slowly starting to pull away. Here's Thibault. Let's see what Thibault got in this possession. Kicking it outside to Holiday. I forgot I gave him playing time. I really didn't mean to give him PT, but we will do we will do with some playing time from Aaron Holiday. Another three-pointer for my son Quentin Grimes. And just like that, we pulled away. And we would end up going on to win this game. We close things out in the fourth quarter as well. Look at the alley-oop to Obi Toppin. Obi Toppin. Mitchell Robinson are really going to benefit from having Mitchell on this team. And then look at this possession. Donovan Mitchell, bad three-point shot. But Mitchell Robinson averaging all of those rebounds. Of course, he's going to get the rebound. Of course, he's going to get the put back. And we end up destroying the Miami Heat on our home court this is what i like to see bro quentin grimes with 28 points he was balling out off the bench quickly with 14 donovan mitchell with 12 take these scores the box score with a grain of salt when you watch the hall of fame cpu play they actually take some real horrible shots bro real horrible shots but we have something to look forward to. So this episode was amazing. The era of RJ and Donovan Mitchell has officially started. We're two and three to start the NBA season. Like I said, it's going to take a while for us to get that chemistry going. But once we get going, I feel like we're going to be perfectly fine. And then our second unit with Grimes coming off the bench. I am so glad that I did not trade him, bro. Really, really glad. Yo, really, really. I was going to say grad. Really, really glad that we did not trade him. But let me know what you guys thought of this episode thought of this game that we played against miami in the comment section below we beat them although they beat us in the eastern conference finals when they counted that's not going to happen to us again make your predictions how far do you see this team going i say probably the east finals again i don't think we're going to win it we're probably going to need another year of development for rj and mitchell robinson but we're headed in the right direction, bro. We really headed in the right direction. Make sure you click one of the playlists on the screen. Check out some of my other content before I let you guys go. I'll see you guys in the next EP.